Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the next video in the series and we are making school management system. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a, a fee receipt. For example, a school administrator or someone in the school has collected fee from the student or student's parents and as an invoice or, you know, some sort of proof uh, that we have collected uh, the fee we will submit, uh, we, we will actually be able to print out this receipt and hand it over to the student uh, for the confirmation of fee collection and if there is any balance whatsoever. That's what I'm going to demonstrate. If you are uh, interested in that, sure, you can uh, watch along until the end and you, I'm sure, I can guarantee you will learn a thing or two from these tutorials. If you're new to my channel, welcome and if you're returning welcome back if i said that already sorry about that um please subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video all right let's get uh, started so uh, if you know if you have been watching of course if you're not why not go back and watch all the videos in this series and other series as well anyway so we created this report before about the fee collection, but that was like overall consolidated view of the fee collection per month. So I thought uh, the receipt should also be uh, printed. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate. Now two ways, for example, I we will use fee collection query, right? Which is already created and it has all the student information, fee related information, etc etc so we'll use the existing data that is there and existing query that is there we use that and we create a report based on that now to create a new report first of all i have already uh, demonstrated how to create a report in detailed videos if you haven't watched you should watch the previous two or three videos in this series in which I have demonstrated how to create a report from the scratch. However, in this video, I'm not going to create a report from the scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the existing report and I'm going to press Control V on my keyboard and I will give a name. So we'll give a name fee receipt. Okay, so that's the name. And I'll right click here because we have copied. So we'll get rid of this information. We go to report design grouping. We get rid of the grouping as well. All right. Now we are left with this uh, blank report. Here we'll change the caption. So we'll say fee receipt confirmation, something like that. So it's a confirmation for the student. And we will actually change the, at right now it's a student report. We'll change it to fee receipt okay so all right that is done if we'll end we'll remove the currently this report is uh, bound with records of students get rid of that we'll go to report view it's a nice little report but it's a blank report and now we are going to fetch first of all we are going to assign a query which is fee collection que a query with this report and then we are going to uh, put things together on this report. So we'll go to design view. We'll go to data tab. We'll go to dot, dot, dot. And as I said, we're going to use existing query called fee collection queue. So we fetch the information. I think uh, we should get everything, whatever is available on that, uh, on that query, because, you know, we can give as much information as possible to the students regarding the fee collection so this looks exactly the same like we saw in the table but i'll show you the difference okay and uh, we get the add existing details all right we'll uh, expand it a little bit actually uh, this i wanted to expand all right so first of all we get collection id we get student id student name role number father name all right so i think that's enough then we get the fee collection information so this transaction related information reference number okay academic year month and then 
we get status here and status date and then I think uh, if we do we bring it here if we collect it and if we balance here okay now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all I'm going to go home and I'm going to change the color to black Then I'm going to unselect all and select only these fields right click on these and make it as stacked and I go to the arrange tab and I choose the control padding narrow the other thing I do is I you know can we can extend the height of these text boxes so go to report design re, uh, property sheet format and so height at the moment is 0 0.2083 so let's change that to 0 0.3 now you can see that bit more height and what else we need to do is to reduce or uh, increase the margin so let's say I'll say 0 0.05 so the text is kind of nicely in the center that's the whole purpose then um, I'm going to unselect those fields and select the other ones right click layout stacked arranged control padding narrow 0.3 height of the text boxes once you understood this once you have this sequence then it becomes very quick and easy for you to actually work on these reports and create many documents as many as you want very quickly okay so that's there that's done now the only thing is we want to increase the width of these text boxes and even the labels a little bit okay these text boxes will increase the width i think these we can reduce a little bit based on the type of information we'll have in these text boxes so we can reduce we can work with that okay but here because the student name the father name will come so we can extend the width of the text boxes now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a little formatting here so it looks nicer uh, when it's printed or even when when, uh, when it's uh, viewed even in the system so for that I'm going to do this so let's say a fee type is it a monthly or you know reference number okay year and month and status and status date okay so we select these when we get bold we select these when we get bold we select all and we change the uh, shape outline to kind of lighter color right so it doesn't look bad but it looks okay now let's uh, let's let's streamline or kind of beautify this area because this is the key information of any um, any fee receipt so we need to tell what was the fee due what's what we have collected and what's the overall balance I think the width we can increase from 1 to 2 oh that will be too much 1.7 I think that's enough and the height let's change height from 0.2083 to let's say 1 would that be too much I don't think so I think that's fine so 1 is height 1.7 is the width so let's go ahead and do that do the change for others here we go so 1.7 is the width one is height there you go so it looks all even sized text boxes okay all right now because this is fee due so let's uh, change the color to make it maybe red but not the dark red let's make it light red something like that let's uh, I think this would be better and then this would be lighter green perhaps and this would be let's make it bluish you know the balance okay let's uh, extend the width all right that 
is good. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Now let's uh, select all. Let's go to home. So let's do a little formatting here as well. Let's change the font size from 11 to perhaps 14 or 15. You can change that to 15. And let's uh, give a little bit of margin. So let's say 0 0.6. Now that will be too much. 0 0.4. I think that makes sense. But still, we will we will see if that looks better in the print preview or not. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, preview it. There you go. Looks nicer, isn't it? So we have collection ID, student ID, student name, roll number, father name, fee type. So it's admission fee, reference number, for year, for which year, for which month, completed status date. Now you can see that this is the repetition of every record that we have in this query. So what we need to do is we need to actually uh, perhaps maybe give a criteria so it only prints the information for a certain collection ID. So we go to the design view and we go here and what we do is we give a criteria by going to data dot 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 and here we are in the query. So we say forms. So we'll link that. We'll give a criteria of the collection form. The collection F exclamation mark uh, collection ID. Okay. So we give that criteria. We close it. Okay. So now we have given the criteria that hey, open this receipt when the fee is collected, right? And so we have op op option or user have option to actually click on a button and get the receipt of the fee collection. So that we will bind with the fee collection F form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this button and I'm going to paste it and I will bring it here. And here I will say print uh, receipt, R-E-C-E-I-P-T. All right, so print receipt. We give a name, PTN print, okay. Uh, we reduce this height and I go to the event tab behind the button dot 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 code builder and in here I will say to cmd dot open report and now it is asking which report oh. double quote double quote and fee receipt is the report name and we want to view that report as well so we click here close it let's test it out so we go to fee f let's say we collected this fee 2500 and we say collect payment it is being partially collected yes okay can we find the main f oh yeah because we haven't opened it so that's why uh, but that's okay that's not an error by the way that means it is actually working that's why it's giving this uh, information so let's click on print receipt and there you go so 68747, that's the collection ID. Student ID 7 and name 7. It's a monthly fee, correct? It's a monthly fee. 2520 was due. So I'll bring it here. 2520 was due. 2500 was collected. And the balance is $20. Okay. So that's what I wanted to demonstrate. Let's, uh, let's test it out with something else as well. Let's say... We this time collect fully, collect payment. Okay, and now we will print the receipt. Now you can see that six seven six eight seven four eight student ID eighteen. We collected two seven two zero, and the due was two seven two zero as well, and the balance is nothing. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate. I hope that you have uh, learned something. If you have, please do let me know. Even if you have not, do let me know as well. Tell me in the comments. And uh, if you like whatever you have seen, smash the like button and hit the bell icon, subscribe to the channel, etc., etc. You know all the good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.